Welcome to the unit on database management. So this unit consists of 20 marks and this is the part 6 of this particular unit. I hope you have watched the other parts of this series. If not, you can always check out. I've given all the links in the description. So today's topic of discussion will be two very important commands which are the delete and the drop command. At first, I'll discuss both these commands separately with examples and then I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of both these two commands. So let's begin with the syllabus. So this is the syllabus. From here, we are going to discuss about delete and drop commands and also do a side-by-side -side comparison about both these two commands. So let's begin with the delete command. So the delete command is used to remove rows or tuples from a relation. So what is the use of delete command? It is used to remove the rows. Rows means it is used to remove the data from a relation. Relation means what? Relation means table. It removes the entire rows and not the individual field values. So in a rows, there are various fields. Let's say for one person which, whose roll number is one. So let's take, okay. So for one person whose roll number is one, he will have various properties like roll number, name and percentage. Now you cannot just remove the percentage from that particular roll number. You have to remove the entire row. That is the work of delete command. So it has certain syntax. There are two syntax. First syntax is for removing the entire contents of a table. So if you want to remove the entire contents of a table, then you will use the syntax delete from table name. Okay. Now for removing specific tuples from a table, let's say it has 100 tuples. Out of 100 tuples, you want to remove only two tuples. Tuples means rows. Then you have to use the syntax delete from table name where and after where you need to give the condition and based on the condition what will happen the deletion will take place here so here we have this particular table this is the current status the name of the table is stt info now if i want to delete the row with roll number three then how will i give the command see the second syntax which is delete from Table name, what is the table name? STT info, where after that I'll give the condition. Which condition I'll give? I want to delete that row whose roll number is 3. So where roll equals to 3. So after that, if I give the select star from table name command for displaying the entire table, I'll get the table, but here now the roll number 3 will not be there. Why it will not be there? Because we have deleted the row with roll number 3. This is for removing specific tuples from a table. But if you want to remove the entire table, then what command you will give? You will give delete from table name. That means delete from STT info. If I give this command and after that, if I try to display it, select star from table name, then I'll get an empty set. Empty set means now the structure of the table is there, means the heading is there, but the contents of the table is not there. Okay, so let's try to implement it. So this is our table from here i want to delete the information of roll number three then i'll use the second syntax which says delete from table name what is the table name it is stt info where how i'll do the filtering i can do the filtering by role also name also and percentage also but it's better that you do the filtering by roll number why because there may be two, two students with the same name there may be more than one student with the same percentage. Therefore, it's safer to do the filtering by such a column which is unique. Here, which is unique? Roll number is unique. So, I'm filtering by roll number where roll equals to 3. So, I'm getting the command like query, okay, one row affected. Now, how can I see the changes for seeing the syntax uh, changes? I have to display the table which is by select star from table name. And I'm getting the updated table now where roll number three's contents is not there. Now, if I want to remove the entire table, then I'll use the first syntax, which is delete from table name. What is the table name? STT info. So as I give the command delete from table name, now query okay, two rows affected. Now, if I want to see the updated table by select star from table name, now I'm getting an empty set. Empty set means now the structure of the table is there. That means now 
you can now okay i'll just uh, show it with the help of an example let's say this is the current status of the table now if i give a command like let's say delete from table name what is the table name here st info so if i write delete from st info then the entire row all the contents will be removed and the new table will look somewhat like role name and percentage that means the heading of the table will be there that means you can still insert new values into this particular table but the only the contents are removed the table is not removed okay this is the work of the delete command let's go to the next command which is the drop table command so this command is used to remove a relation or a database from sql completely now if you want to remove a relation or a database from sql completely completely means even the heading will not be there now then you will use the drop table command that means drop table command is a more drastic action as compared to delete table command this command deletes all information about a drop relation or database from sql so what it does it deletes all the information about the drop relation no information will be there what's the syntax it has only one syntax which is drop table table name okay that means the entire thing will be removed let's see some examples so let's say this is our current status the name of the table is let's say stt info now if i give drop table stt info then the everything will be removed now if i want to see the uh, this one if i want to give the command select star from table name then i'll get an error like table school school is the database name database name dot table does not exist does not exist means now the entire structure of the table along with the data has been removed from here okay so let's try to see it uh, uh, let, let, let's try to implement it so i'll just take out that table select star from st info okay so this is our table now if i give the command drop table table name st info st info is the name of the table as you can see here and then press the enter key now if i want to just display the table selects by giving the command select star from table name i am getting an error here what is the error table does not exist okay but in the previous case when i after deleting when i gave the command select star from table name i was getting an empty set empty set means the structure of the table is still there but here table does not exist means everything regarding the table is removed here okay let's try to understand it with the help of a drawing so let's say this is the table let's say the name of the table is st info now if i give the command drop table table name what is the table name st info then what will be the status of the table the status will be that the data will be removed and along with with the data the headings will also be removed that that means there will be no existence of the table when we use the drop table command okay that means drop table command is a more drastic action as compared to the delete command let's do a side by side comparison about both this so for that let's begin with the delete command so delete command is used to remove some or all tuples from a relation so with the help of delete command you can remove some of the tuples some of the rows or all the rows from a relation what is the use of drop command this command is used to remove all the tuples or database along with the table structure so it will not give you an option of removing only specific parts with the help of drop command you can remove an entire relation or a database also drop command is also used to remove a database this command keeps the structure of the relation as i have shown it to you after giving the delete command it will uh, the structure of the relation will still remain but after giving the drop command this command removes the structure of the relation along with the data so along with the data it will remove the heading also let's take the examples if i give delete from table name and 
then try to display the table i'll get an empty set means the structure is still there but if i want to give the drop table command drop table table name and then i'll give still a select star from table name then i'll get an error error why because the entire structure of the table has been removed here delete falls in the category of dml commands i have already discussed about dml commands in one of the previous parts you can just go and look into it there within dml command category you will find the delete command but drop falls under category of data definition language command or ddl command okay where clause can be used to add filtering so you can choose which rows to delete that means where clause can be used with delete command but drop command does not allow any filtering that means no filtering is allowed okay so here one thing uh, i want to show you that drop command is not only used to remove a relation it is also used to remove the database now we are working within the database school now if i want to remove the database school then i'll give the command drop database database name what is the database name the database name is school so query okay one row affected that means the database school has been removed now if i give the command use database name that means if i want to get inside the database school then i'll get an error unknown database school why i'm getting this error unknown database school because previously i gave the drop database command therefore the entire thing entire design and all the tables within the database has been removed so if you want to remove all the tables from a database you need not remove the tables individually you can just erase the entire database by the command drop database then database name okay therefore we can say that drop table command is a more uh, drastic uh, action as compared to delete command sorry with drop table command you can use the drop database command also for removing the databases okay so this was our syllabus and out of this we have completed all these things till now okay i hope that this session was useful i'll see you again in the next session